Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. For this video, we're going to work on finding derivatives of functions that involve a natural log. And of course, the key for doing this is really knowing the rule for derivatives if it has a natural log. And the rule is simply this. Uh, if you have your function, say something like natural log of the absolute value of x, its derivative is just 1 over x. Now, you may see a few instances where we have the natural log of just a regular old x, you know, maybe something like this and its derivative will still be 1 over x. The only difference in this case is if we're just dealing with a regular old natural log of x, it's implied that we're only dealing with positive x's, which means when we look at its derivative, the derivative is still 1 over x, but again, we're only dealing with positive x's in that case. No negatives are, are really being uh, playing a part in that instance. All right, so let's get into some examples and see how this rule works. For the first one, we're going to deal with a y equals 3x squared plus the natural log of x. And you'll notice in this case, I've left out any absolute values. So I'm implying that we're only dealing with positive x's, not any negatives running around, just positive x's. So as we take our derivative, we want to remember our power rule. So I'm going to take the derivative of 3x squared by bringing down the power there. So there's my 2. 2 gets reduced by 1, so that turns into just a single 1. And now we get over here to the derivative of natural x, and I can uh, use my new rule here, 1 over x. Now let's just rewrite this to make it a little bit cleaner. So the derivative of y equals 6x plus 1 over x. If you want, you can put in that little indicator that, okay, only positive x's. So it's a really simple rule. Just know that you use it when you come across that natural log. Let's try something a little bit more complicated and involve our product rule. So for this one, we're looking for the derivative of y equals the square root of x multiplied by the natural log of x. Like before, x is a positive number. Uh, for our product rule, we'll begin by saying we need to have the first function, just as it is, multiplied by the derivative of the second, there's that 1 over x, plus the second function, just as it is, multiplied by the derivative of the first. Now to take care of the derivative of that square root, you really want to think of this as x to the 1 half. That way you can use your power rule on that. that. So bring down the 1 half, reduce its power by 1. That'll turn it into a negative 1 half. And now we have its derivative. And it really just needs a little bit of cleaning up to make it look a bit better. So it looks like we have uh, x to the 1 half, that's from the square root, all divided by x, plus, and then I have a natural log of x all over 2. So there's my natural log on top. The 2 on the bottom is coming from that 1 half, and this is uh, in the bottom as well, since this is to a negative power. OK, so that all looks good. Continue simplifying here. So this is to the first power, this is to the 1 half power. Uh, looks like I can cancel out a half x, so to speak. So we'll end up with x to the 1 half power plus the natural log of x all over 2, x to the 1 half. And now we almost have the same denominators. Uh, if I multiply the first one on the top and bottom by 2, that should do it. And this will give me y prime is equal to 2 plus the natural log of x all over 2 x to the 1 half power. Or I guess if you really want to throw in a square root, that's OK too. 2 times the square root of x. Nice. So the key is really knowing what do I do when I need to take the derivative of that natural log. And you can see we're just putting in that 1 over x. That is its derivative. Now the fun part about this rule is you can combine it with your chain rule in case you have something a little bit more complicated on the inside. So if you do come across something like the natural log of stuff, the absolute value of stuff, then what you'll do is you'll first take the derivative of the outside that's using our chain rule, leave the inside the same, and then multiply by the derivative of that inside. So let's do one quick example to see how something like that might work. We're going to use this on y equals the natural log of x squared plus 3x plus 1. So as we start off, when we take our derivative, we're going to go 1 over, and we're going to leave all of this inside stuff exactly the same. So still an x squared plus a 3x plus 1. And then we'll multiply this entire thing by the derivative of the inside. 
So derivative of x squared is a 2x. Derivative of 3x is just a 3. And the derivative of a constant goes to 0, so that's all gone. This leaves us with a derivative of 2x plus 3 all divided by x squared plus 3x plus 1. Nice. So you can see this is a pretty powerful rule on how to deal with these natural logarithms. Check out some of my other videos where we'll also tackle some logarithms that have a different base. All right? If you'd like to see some more videos, check out mysecretmathtutor.com.